Imagine you are preparing for a big exam and have different topics to study for it. How should you study them? Study one topic fully before moving on to another or switch between them? Here's what a research suggests. Mixing up topics is more helpful in the long run. In school or tutoring centers, blocking is very common. Blocking is a process where you study a single concept or skill for a long period of time before you move on to the next task. The opposite is interleaving, when you mix together different concepts and skills. Let's make an analogy. Blocking is like eating a type of food exclusively before trying out another. But interleaving is like tasting a variety of foods at shorter intervals. Interleaving is more effective than blocking, especially in problem solving like math or physics. In a study, psychologists found that when students practice math problems with interleaving, they scored much higher than when they used blocking. This effect is also found in motor skill development. For instance, a tennis player who alternates practice between forehands, backhands, and volleys gets better training results. A pianist who switches practice between scales, chords, and arpeggios achieves better retention. Interleaving also benefits category learning. In the study, participants were asked to study paintings by different artists. An artist's paintings were shown in a row or interleaved with paintings by other painters. And in the final test, they were asked which artist they studied painted this painting. Surprisingly, the interleaving group outperformed the blocking group. Why does interleaving work? There are two major explanations. First, it helps you distinguish between different concepts. Since each problem or practice coming up is different, you can't rely on rote responses. Your brain must actively look for different solutions. Second, interleaving forces the brain to recall prior knowledge, so it enhances newer connections between different tasks and leads to long-term retention. How to study using interleaving? Study several related topics or different subjects and switch between them. For example, you may mix up several types of math practices, or you may study math for a while and then change to other subjects like chemistry, biology, or English. You may interleave what you learn in different orders. Personally, I love switching between themes when learning. Back in college, I often switch between subjects like finance, accounting, biology, and international relations. Until now, I still interleave items that I work on. Interleaving keeps me from getting bored with a single task. It also helps me build a deeper understanding of several topics. It's also important to remember that interleaving feels more challenging than blocking because you cannot use a single strategy to solve all the problems, but it produces better long-term results. Thanks for watching. I'm Xiaoming Bao. I'll be back with more learning strategies next time. Bye-bye.